Welcome back to InfoWars Nightly News. Viewers know that I am a staunch defender of the Bill of Rights and Constitution. And chief amongst those rights is the right of self-defense that every tyrannical system has sought to curtail. Our country was founded back in 1775, 1776, when the corrupt British Empire attempted to disarm the people. Lay down your arms! You won't get my gun! By God, we will have them all! Our ancestors fought back, and our wonderful republic, the United States of America, was born. Well, I seek to defend the Second Amendment via the First Amendment, the right of the press and free speech. And that's why I have produced this first installment of Brothers in Arms with uh, two friends I knew in high school here in Austin, the Steiner brothers and their friend, gun expert and gunsmith, Matt Williams. So here is the first installment of Brothers in Arms, shot and filmed right here in Austin, Texas. This is my idea of a gun show. The following program was overseen by certified professionals. Do not try these stunts at home. Self-defense starts with safety. It is essential that before using a firearm that you seek and receive professional training. I'm Tommy Shane Steiner, and this is my brother Sid. Along with our pal, firearms instructor and gunsmith, Matt Williams, we're Texans and Americans who support and celebrate the Second Amendment, which makes all of us brothers in arms. We're out here at the ranch, shooting guns, uh, you know, doing what we did growing up. We brought Matt along, who's our gun expert. Did you guys bring anything out to shoot today? I brought my uh, HKK 45. Also brought my shotgun as well as my custom lever gun. I know you brought some guns too. What'd you? Yeah, bring? I brought my uh, my trusty Desert Eagle 44. I got the 338 Lapua and uh, the AR-15. You boys ready to go throw some lead? All right. Kicking off the show, we had to go with the staple: melons on a stick. It's very much like a head on a pike. I just had to take a couple shots myself at the melons. The 338 Lapua was my most recent purchase. This is the first chance that I got to shoot it. Send it. Where are you, where, where are you putting your crosshair? Make that watermelon move. Yeah, with a shockwave, absolutely. I think it jumped out of the way. <laughs> One thing about this shoot was getting to recite in all my weapons. Send it. The interesting thing about the 338 Lapua Magnum is it is the very first cartridge developed for the sniper role. This thing is so powerful and so fast, it doesn't even see the benefits ballistically until it reaches 500 to 1,000 yards. It's an amazing round. We got melon. Oh, yeah. Somebody at the last minute had the great idea to bring these hairspray cans out, and uh, we decided to hit them with the trace around, see if they'd do anything. I didn't really actually think they would catch on the way they did, but we got some pretty cool little explosions out of them. Uh, the AR-15 was about two inches off and uh, had to use a little Kentucky windage. I was just amazed that the bullets, even though traveling that fast, the tracer rounds were still able to ignite the propellant. Actually, you can feel some heat coming off of those too. I, 
I think one thing that we can agree on is that you shouldn't make bad decisions with a firearm. No. You no. know, and so that's why I think that the training comes in handy, practice coming out to, you know, and, and honestly, I mean, how can you have more fun than coming outside and, you know, being on a beautiful ranch and uh, just grabbing a bunch of guns and uh, shooting melons and barrels and, I mean, I think we're propane gonna think tanks. propane tanks. You know, we're gonna think Safety a lot of things. I'll have to do that tonight. This is a 45 caliber RBCD round out of San Antonio. It's a fragmentation round. We're shooting it into clay here to show its dramatic effect. The fragmentation bullet's really designed to destabilize on impact. And what it does is, it, although it doesn't penetrate uh, on a nominal level, which is usually about 11 to 12 inches in a body cavity, it does explode rapidly, and it creates such a dramatic wound channel. Um, well, it's not even a wound channel, really. It just splits your target in half. So even if it doesn't kill them immediately, they'll die of shock. Now we're going to look at what the 338 Lapua Magnum is going to do to this clay block. There's really not much difference between the 338 Lapua Magnum round and the 45. One cuts it in half, and the other one splatters it everywhere. At the end of the day, I don't think anyone's riding home to mom after this one. The 4570 is a much slower round than the 338 Lapua. Probably half the speed, but it's a much wider diameter bullet offering destructive power at closer ranges. So if a situation is going on in your house uh, and you don't have time to get out and practice in the field a lot or your wife doesn't, have, you think the shotgun is a little, a little better to use? I think with the right basic construction, absolutely. Do you think birdshot would be a, a good round for home defense? I think birdshot's actually pretty sufficient. You know, no, number six load uh, all the way up to trap load. So you don't have to worry about actually shooting through the wall and going into your kid's room? Right. Why don't we do a demonstration to, to show the differences between a handgun and a shotgun as far as accuracy and penetration? Yeah, um, the shotgun, when he hits the um, melons behind us, they're going to pretty much liquefy. Let's uh, do a little test, see how the shotgun stacks up against the 44. Let's do it. Pick your poison. I'll take them both. Uh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I'll go first. Man, the melons are just vaporizing. I think I like mine. Imagine what that would do to an intruder. There's no right home to mom <laughs> after that one. You know, and, and for hitting that melon, it didn't hit any of the rest of the, I mean, it's pretty accurate. It's a backboard barrel. I got you. It tightens the pattern, so it's half the, di half the scatter. You could actually do surgery at 50 and yards. And also, even though we hit the melon, it probably went on and would have gone through a couple of walls and what if a I step back people. ten steps and shoot the me shoot a melon? There you go. Sort of like shooting pool. Just curving around the eight. There you go. Within 50 yards, there's not a weapon on the planet outside of miniguns that'll match well, a 12 gauge. And I understand this is a, a little more bulky to get around. I just think if I have to shoot and I feel like my life's in jeopardy, I would have more confidence. Full force, man. With absolutely, this, absolutely. Know? Also, what we see in the 55 gallon steel drum is the difference between a full 30 round magazine fired into a 55 gallon drum versus one shot out of a 12 gauge with double odd buck. Within 50 yards, the 12 gauge double odd buck has no rival. And from our own grassy knoll right here in Texas, we shot up this barrel. Would you believe, just like Kennedy's car, only two bullets did this? Yes, they're magic. Next, the propane tank goes sky high. And then, tracers light up the evening sky. All this and more on Brothers in Arms.
sick of the globalist eugenicist control freaks adding poison to your water and laughing as you get sick and die? Start purifying your water with ProPure. My friends, I've done a lot of research, and the best gravity filter out there, bar none, is ProPure. And it's available discounted at Infowars.com. Its filters are silver impregnated to prevent bacterial growth. There's no priming required. It's NSF 42 certified. Optional fluoride filters can reduce fluoride up to 95%. Easy to set up and use. Doesn't require electricity. Purify water from lakes, streams, ponds, and wells. This filter system leaves in beneficial minerals, which is key. Save money by not buying bottled water and avoid BPA that leaches from the plastic. ProPure is the best gravity-fed filter out there. It's what my family uses. Infowars.com already has the lowest price on ProPure. But if you add the promo code WATER at checkout, you get an additional 10% off at Infowars.com. You can also call to order 888-253-3139. We lined up about eight Aquanet hairspray cans, and we fired through all of them. Perfect shot, but they didn't ignite. Tommy's barrel didn't have the preferred rifling, so not all of the tracer bullets were ignited. But that was okay. We just used some Boy Scout ingenuity to get a fire going. We decided to put the fully loaded propane tank inside the barrel. Notice the fire extinguisher there by the barrel. Now that was not an accident. We put it there as uh, the first remote detonated fire suppression unit. Let's look at this in slow-mo. This has got to be a first. Tommy actually shot the fire extinguisher seconds after shooting the propane tank and basically extinguished the fire. And all of it was pre-planned. And it worked. I thought there's something magic about tracers in the evening sky. It's like something out of a science fiction movie. But seeing it in high def, now that's something. Well, that's it for this first installment of Brothers in Arms. But coming up, our next episode is literally going to blow this one away. It's coming soon to the Info War. You can see it at prisonplanet.tv.